<clears throat> Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Remake with me, Jerupidus. And right now, we've got the um, vial of poison for Plant 43, and we need to kill that thing to get the wristband, and then that's going to let us progress. So right now, our destination is the low-temp testing lab, so that we can cool down the solution and end up using it. So let's get to it. Here we go. Little dark in here. I don't like that. Welcome back, Dr. Lee. You have five new messages. Well, we've got new messages. Let's check it out. Wayne Lee's inbox. Sender Rick Mendoza, subject, what's he up to? Can you believe that bastard Cartwright? Cool your jets, asshole. Well, I guess he's the boss for now. Anyway, have you seen my helix anywhere? I put the secret on the bottom. Let me know if you find it. We did find that already, so that's good. Sender Byron Cartwright, busy guy, huh? So you couldn't make our little meeting? Fine, don't worry about the greenhouse inspection. Instead, I'll give you something real simple to do. Put together the budget estimate for the year after next and get it done tonight. Sender Rick Mendoza, are you alive? And it says, we're under attack, people are dead, the east area is cut off, we can't operate the bridge with the wristbands we have here, What? where is that bastard Cartwright hiding? And then Rick Mendoza, please reply, Plant 43 is going wild, the greenhouse is hell, we need to send someone in there before it's too late. Wayne, how do we stop this thing? You have to help us, please reply. And Rick Mendoza with no subject, do you remember Susie, the cheerleader? What a great gal, we were both into her. Of course, she wasn't into nerds. I still have to give you back those comics and games I borrowed, but you might have to wait a while. I have no idea what that last one is supposed to mean. That downed individual is making me very nervous. So what do we got here? Alright, nothing useful. Let's keep on uh, exploring this. <sighs> Who left the freezer open? Oh, there's another downed one. I don't like that at all. All right, let's see if there's anything else in here we can find. Some gunpowder, nice. Because I feel like as soon as I cool this thing, this is gonna pop off. That's just what it's smelling like to me. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, smooth enough. I remember this scene from the original game. Cooling complete. Oh, God, something's gonna come after me. All right, let's get out of here. She's still there. Okay, we're good. All right, now we've just got to get back to that area which had the um, place to dispense the solution. I'm just so nervous in here now that that jump scare last episode got me so bad. I'm hearing something. Ah, okay. I'm taking all of these out because I feel like the flamethrower isn't going to be super useful for very much else. 
But a new enemy does not bode well for getting to this uh, solution dispenser particularly smoothly, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to hit the box real quick. Because we can drop off, I don't know, let's say this combat knife. I probably want to hold on to this because it does not seem like we're done with it. And maybe I'd like a healing item on me, honestly. Yeah, let's just take a first aid spray, whatever. And then I do believe it was this way. Through the presentation room. Are there gonna be any more plant guys? Oh, we're good. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Let's kill this stupid plant. Dispensing solution now. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Die, plant. That did the trick. All right, there's our wristband. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Your actions have been logged, and you may be subject to disciplinary measures. <laughs> it was Lee, it wasn't me. Now, I should be able to, like, maybe get through some of these that I couldn't before. Alright, there's my chip. Let's go ahead and combine that. And we are now, uh, admins? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna run. Yeah, I don't have time. Oh, God. Shit. Okay. I've got a plan. Uh, nope. That's not where I want to go. Oh, these things are so tough. Where is he? Oh, right in front of me. I do kind of want to, like, loop around and kill that one. Just for the sake of it. Think that did it? It did. Okay. Alright, so now we've got to get back to the main shaft and then we can make that bridge. I do love that the tyrant has shown back up here. It's so good. Uh, is this the way I want to go? It is. Okay. I wonder if anything else is going to get in my way to try to slow me down. Main shaft. Here's where we want to be. Man, look at this place. This is, I would say, suitably epic for a secret evil underground lab. I'm really enjoying it. Alright, now we want to get to the west area, I do believe. I'm hoping so, too, and I'm also hoping that we've done a good enough job getting away from the tyrant that we, we're not going to get chased in here, but we'll see. Ooh, a video, another video cassette.
Now, I wonder if that means that I need to get back to that video player. I mean, there's got to be another one, right? I can't have to go all the way back to the one... Yeah, this is the point of no return, so there's got to be one here. Somewhere. Perhaps right in front of me. Um, let's go ahead and do the Oss one. It's already pretty close, right? There we go. Alright, so that's going to turn the power on. Will that mean I can use this now? It does. Perfect. Let's use it. work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Hold your fire! What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive. So those were G-samples. Yep, so our theory about it have being a military op that went bad ended up being true. Now we can discard this. I do find the uh, first-person perspective of that incident to be pretty visceral and pretty horrifying. I mean, it's awesome, but you know. All right. So what am I doing in here? This is an interesting little bed, isn't it? Alright, blue herb, I'll take that. I think I'm gonna run right back to the box and put that away. Don't feel like I need that on me. And let's keep going. God, these yellow suits just kind of weird me out. I don't know why. They have such a, a high fidelity texture to them. <laughs> I just, every time I see them, I get, like, kind of creeped out. Little decontamination unit. Oh, boy. I don't like the look of this bridge. All right, let's go. Nothing? Okay. I wonder if they'll do the giant moth. I remember there being a giant moth in here. Yikes, look at this. That kind of looks like the uh, Left 4 Dead cover. I enjoy that. Wow, and there's another box right here. I feel like the boxes are so close together. Like, literally, I was just at one. One second ago. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how many bullets we can make. Yeah, the Magnum is just, like, not even close, my favorite gun. And what else do I have in here? Another high grade. I could make some shotgun shells, but I've been so unimpressed with the shotgun. The Magnum does the thing I want, which is, like, actual big damage.
Either way, I think we're good for right now. What is this? Huh. That was easy. All right. Now back to Ada. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. All right, well, sounds like it's time for us to get out of here. And yes, of course. me you weren't involved in this yes but we never meant for this to happen then tell me everything right from the start <coughs> you don't get away that easily So you made this monster. We made the G-Virus, but we never intended this to spin it any way you want. You're still responsible. design of this thing. Like, his face is really, really scary. <laughs> oh, I gotta run. Alright, that grenade didn't seem to do much. Really just gotta hit the eyeballs. Let's get out of here. Now, I'm kind of tempted to try out the flamethrower, so let's see what it can do. It kind of feels like you're going to need to stick and move with it. Oh, look at that. He went up. Is that doing anything? I can't really tell. Oh, okay. Probably should use a healing item here. I do like the way that the uh, burn has, like... Uh, it has, like, uh, persistent damage. Where, like, he looks all cooked after the flames go out. I think that's pretty sweet. Yep, let's go ahead and use a sub-weapon. Get off of me. Oh, I was really hoping to hit that last one. Uh. All right, the front is exposed, so that means I want to hit those. And, uh, where's he, uh, where's he off to? 
Wow, that's like a, an absurd number of handgun bullets. Oh, you know what? I bet you, for this part, I'm supposed to use the handgun to hit the eyeballs, and then my powerful guns in the front gets exposed. That would make a lot more sense. So maybe putting the handgun away was a little bit crazy, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand by it. I think we can do this without it. Oh, is that it? Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. His AI felt a little bit wonky at times, but either way, that was a super epic boss fight. Um, but I don't think we are done with boss fights where... We still have the uh, tyrant chasing us, right? Now, is there anything else left in here? Yeah, it looks like there's still a few more goodies. <laughs> I kind of can't believe they expect you to be using handgun bullets at this point. That seems a little ridiculous. But I definitely want all the stuff in the boss arena. Although I don't feel like I'm going to need very many more you know, supplies, ammunition, things like that. There's not going to be a ton of game left if I had to guess. Oh, he's got something on him, doesn't he? Ah, my combat knife? Sure, I'll take that. All right, with William Birkin finally defeated, let's get out of here. Feels worse. Believe me. Talk about what you said. I don't know how much I believe. Just tell me you'll destroy that G sample. No, it's evidence. It's going to the FBI. <laughs> you trust that bitch? What's that supposed to mean? She's not FBI. She's a mercenary. She's gonna sell it. G-Virus is gonna go to the highest bidder. Oh, that's bullshit. I hope you're right. But if the G-Virus gets into the wrong hands... And now, I don't know if we can trust Annette, but I do think that what she's saying has some truth to it. And Leon is finally realizing that maybe Ada isn't who she says she is. I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. No, we make a good team. I gotta ask you something. Way's clear. Please, tell me you got it. No, oh, I got it. Let me verify the G-sample when we get the hell out of here. Before we do that, I ran into Annette. She claims you're not FBI. Why couldn't you just hand over the sample? As I realized, as much as I wanted to trust you, I didn't. I really hoped it wouldn't end up like this. So that's all this was? I was just some pawn to you? Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun! I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you.
you shoot me? But I don't think you can. yourself, Leon. No! I really like the way that was handled in this one. Not a whole lot of, um, you know, screaming her name and things like that. It felt more human. And it felt more like Leon is upset for losing her because he wants to save people, not just because they've met each other for, you know, a half hour, hour long adventure and suddenly fell in love. Wow. But uh, we have the classic Resident Evil end where we uh, have a countdown, and that means we need to get out of here as quickly as we possibly can. But I don't think it's going to be as simple as simply running out of here. Let's get a move on. What's that? Yeah, but the whole place is coming down. Listen to me. You need to get out. Fast. Yeah. There's a way out. We can make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? Hey, Leon, you're breaking up. Forget about me. Just get out of here. Damn it! You're damn right, Claire. We can make it out of here. Now, I think I'm gonna want to take a few things with me here. Let's go ahead and grab all of our healing items. Because we're not really gonna be picking up very much on the way out of here. Yeah, why don't we make a few shotgun shells, I guess? And I don't really see the need to burn up everything else. Like, I just feel like it's extra. And let's get reloaded. And get ready to make our escape. gonna run. Ooh, a 
green herb. I'll take that. Thank you for the reminder. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a fucking joke. Oh, I can't wait to actually fight him. I'm assuming we get to do that. Nope, not messing with you. Come on, let's go. Great idea, Leon. Let's keep going. Let's go ahead and put these together. And I need the joint plug, which takes up two slots. So... Let's go ahead and put away all these handgun bullets. I'm not going to need those for anything, I don't think. I'm wondering if I still need this for anything. Like, maybe I missed something with it? Not completely clear. But that'll do it. And if I'm not mistaken, I just gotta put it in, like, right over here. Yep. I should move. Ooh, boy, that was close. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I avoided that. I'm gonna risk it and assume that the next hit won't kill me. What is it with this thing? All right, now is the time to use a healing item. I would say. Ooh. A little too slow on that one. I kind of feel like maybe I should be dodging to the right if I can. God, I'm so hemmed in. <laughs> Fortunately, those are going to do a little bit less damage from my buff, but I feel like I don't even have time to get a shot off. Uh-oh. <laughs> Come on! How many bullets do I got to put in this guy? <laughs> Alright, back into danger. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, we did it. The tyrant is finally dead. That's so satisfying. You have arrived at the bottom level. I love that computerized voice. She sounds so pleasant. Let's see, do I have any grenades? I do. Can I just push through? I can. Shit! Gotta get out of here. I miss her. All right, and that's the end of Leon's scenario. And I just want to say right off the bat how much fun this was. But just so you know, it works the same way as the original game. So that was quote unquote Leon A, and we get to play Claire B after this to see what uh, Claire's side of this adventure was like. But I am so, so impressed. It feels like a really nice mixture of modernizing the controls. I don't need to go into the menu to switch guns or things like that. I can switch them on the fly but preserving the kind of risk-reward nature of tank controls, where if I want to execute a powerful shot, I've got to stop. I think that is just absolutely ingenious. And um, this is one of those things where I don't... I'm not somebody that cares about graphics very much. I feel like if the graphics portray the story you're trying to tell and don't throw me into the uncanny valley, whatever they look like, they're fine. I have no problem with the way the original game looks even today. However... Getting to see all of these environments in this really beautifully rendered detail is both really visually impressive, but hits that nostalgia nerve really nicely as well. Like, everything about this is pretty much pitch perfect, in my opinion. So if you're a fan of the original Resident Evil 2, I know that I am. I think it's one of the greatest games ever made. I highly, highly recommend you give this a try. And I know I already said it, but make sure you stay tuned. Uh, we will be playing Claire's Scenario right after this, so thank you so much for watching. I'm going to let the credits roll right now, but I will see you in the next video.